community back again. I'm um, firing off a quick video this time. And what I mean by quick is I'm gonna be under 10 minutes. Keep your fingers crossed and your timer is ready. But I just wanted to post a video from my man Tavis, Vinyl Talk with Tavis, the best intro in the vinyl community, my opinion. Vinyl Talk, Vinyl Talk. So he had a contest that uh, was looking for album covers with animals or insects. So came to the right place. Let me show you uh, just a sampling of some of the things uh, that I'd like to offer up as part of this contest. Let's go to number one. Black Pumas, self-titled debut. Great indie kind of soul rock band. I will say that this album has been pressed and repressed crazy amount of times. Uh, this is like the Austin Moon version I actually got online through a record store I've been to in Dallas called Good Records, which has always treated me pretty fair when I've gone there or ordered online. So Black Pumas, self-titled Puma uh, as the animal for this contest. So, so that's the first one. Number two is the Black Crows Lions. This was a copy I'm holding here was a like record store day, Black Friday, I believe, one or the other or both. They do it so much now I get really confused on when I get these, but this was a pink vinyl. I, as you can see, I've been lazy and have not even opened this one, but um, I do enjoy the band, The Black Crows. I have obviously Shake Your Money Maker, uh, a couple of their other albums, but uh, this one I did not have. I got it on good authority. It was one to pick up, and so Black Crows Lions is my second entry or a second record as part of this uh, contest let's go to number three all right number three i'm going to be lazy if you guys have seen any of my videos thus far this was in my first video of a find i recently picked up this is them crooked vultures self-titled came out a couple years ago um i think 2011 it's hard to find now they didn't repress it but um, i was very very happy to pick this up when i picked it up as you guys could tell in that first video and because um, I obviously picked it up below below market and that's always a big win for me. So Vulture for number three as part of this contest. Let's go to number four. So number four is a real exciting record to show. This is a sealed copy of Alice in Chains, uh, Jar of Flies and Sap, the double EP. Wow, that was released, goodness gracious, a long time ago. I couldn't even tell you. Um, was exciting about this is I got this mm, five years ago on eBay from a gentleman who was selling off some of his collection and I couldn't believe that I could get an original at I believe it's less than 50 bucks I'd have to look it up but this is a great score um I love Alice in Chains love that 90s all grunge rock um I don't even know if they repress this maybe music on vinyl and I'll repress a lot of their catalog uh, before I have dirt case in point is one of those but uh I know I'm kind of cheating, but there's flies, so I'm going to use the insect vibe tab. I hope that's okay on this one. So Alice in Chains, Jar of Flies, Sap is number four. Number five, coming up. All right, so number five, this may be cheating, so I'm going to do a five slash six, because when I was pulling this record, which is Guster, Keep It Together, this is the first pressing. This was recently repressed by the band, I want to say last year, year before, a couple different color variants. Um, I love Guster. I love... Uh, their catalog. I love their performances. Love seeing them live. Uh, bongo playing. Anytime right? Because it's Congo, right? The tall. <laughs> My man, it, it slams on those Congos, and it's always a big hit. So, um, this record, believe it or not, I picked up from another member of the vinyl community. I think you know Matt from Too Many Records. Funny thing is, I bought it from him, I believe, on Discog. So I think we worked out a deal. And I didn't even know it was the same Matt from Too Many Records. I don't even know if I was watching his channel at that point. But years later, I was checking some old purchases online that I had done some receding. And sure, sure enough, one in the same. So... Matt, if you're watching, I doubt you are, but if you are watching this video, 
Thanks again for this hookup. This is one of my favorites in my collection. Um, so Guster, keep it together. This is number 5A. 5B is another Guster record. Let me show you. So this is 5B. And again, I didn't want to cheat, but it's kind of cheating. It's the same band, Guster. This is their release, Goldfly, which wasn't released on vinyl until a couple years ago. I want to say two or three years ago. So this was an exciting pickup because I actually missed it. They, they had like 100 at a very limited release on this. I guess you can't really tell, but it's kind of a goldish colored vinyl. So this sold out right away. So I had to buy this on the secondary market. She wasn't terribly expensive, but they've since repressed this on black a couple different times, I think. So, so obviously with Keep It Together has a bird on the front, a little hummingbird, I guess, if you will. And this one obviously has a fly. Again, is that cheating, Tavis? I'm not exactly sure because I had uh, Alice in Chains jar of flies earlier. So sue me if I'm kind of bending creative liberties here, but uh, I did want to fire off a video. So I had to go kind of rapid fire, boom, 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 what I found. So these are my entries for the contest. Tavis, you're my guy. Uh, can't wait to see you this year if you come up to St. Louis. Uh, really enjoyed getting to meet you last year, or I guess it was 2021 last year when we came by Kansas City. So it's one of my favorite guys in the vinyl community. He's a guy who encouraged me to start this vinyl channel. So um, win or lose, Tavish, you're my guy. Um, thanks for inspiring me to join the vinyl community and uh, pump out this video with uh, two Guster Records and the associated uh, Hoot Nanny that I showed earlier. So. Until the next Concert Buddy video, that's all I got. I'll spin you later. Well, well, well. How the turntables...